The Pawtucket Red Sox International League AAA franchise affiliate of the Boston Red Sox will be headed to Worcester, Massachusetts in a year. Once there, the franchise will be playing in possibly the most expensive minor league baseball stadium ever built. The project will now cost $132 million. Initially, Massachusetts taxpayers were required to throw $35 million into a $99 million deal, which would be, if you believe the Red Sox owners and politicians, an economic generator for Worcester. The Red Sox owners claim the ballpark that they are building will be the anchor for a stadium village which will also have an apartment building, two hotels, because minor league baseball fans will be flocking to Worcester, along with restaurants and retail space. Somehow, this project is going to create 500 full-time jobs and 2,000 part-time jobs. Those part-time jobs could include ticket takers, parking lot attendants, restaurant workers who get tips, along with people who clean hotel rooms and rely on tips. At the stores, there probably will be minimum wage positions available. The players, the guys who are the stars that attract people to come to games, will continue to live on the poverty line because a minor league player is a seasonal employee. In fact, just about all minor league baseball employees get paid very little or are college students interning. Worcester and Massachusetts officials are ignoring that factor as they are telling taxpayers they have to invest in the Red Sox owner's plan. That plan should guarantee them more revenue streams than were available in Pawtucket. Boston Red Sox chairman Tom Warner, who counts both Pawtucket and Worcester within his baseball market, says it's too bad it didn't work out in Pawtucket. But it is good for Worcester owners and some Worcester parking lot attendants' pockets. I'm Evan Weiner for the politics of sports business.